I introduce you. I'm going to say this is a friend of mine. That means you're a connected guy. Hmm? Now, if I said instead, this is a friend of ours, that would mean you would make guy. A kabish. Nice. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I want to start with, so, uh, I don't know how many months we are. Your first fight was in August, right? Yes. Was that your first fight or had you done gym smokers? I know sparring in the gym, but had you done like gym smokers or anything like that? Or was that your actual first fight? No, I hadn't done any exhibitions, so that was my first time in the cage. Nice. Uh, I haven't been able, I was trying to find it somewhere, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I know that you won. How'd that fight go? It was good. It was a really tough fight. Um, Hannah was really strong, so we spent a lot of time in the clinch, um, a little bit of time on the ground, and like I said, she was just really strong, so the, I was surprised at how much energy it took. It's different than using energy for striking and for cardio, like that grappling and the clenching energy. Um, so she was a really good opponent, uh, won by decision. And I was really happy with how it went. I trained really hard for it. Nice. So the nerves coming into that being your first fight and people are here, here we go. Do you think those nerves will be pushed to the wayside by now? Cause now you're used to that part coming to the second one, or is it still like, no, they're still going to be there. So it was, it was interesting. The nerves for me in my last fight came mostly during my fight camp. And that had what pushed me to train so hard because I thought, okay, I'm choosing to go into the cage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to train as hard as I can, do everything I can. And so that way, when the night came, there wasn't as much nerves as I thought there would be because I knew I had done everything in my power to train for it. And likewise, in this camp, I'm um, like sometimes I'll get nervous, but then I'll just be like, okay, that's why I go to bed at 9 p.m. That's why I wake up at 5 a.m. And that's why I'm like sticking to a nutrition plan. So um, I, I'm not too worried about the nerves going into the cage. And uh, speaking of fight camp, uh, I've talked to Andy and I've talked to Derek and I think you guys have a great team up there. I love what Live Wire MMA brings to the cage, brings to fights. I love the camaraderie. What's it like to be part of that team? Oh, it's great. I mean, all the fighters are just great. And we have a lot of fun, too, while sparring. Um, we all push each other. And they're great sparring partners and training partners. So how did how did you find your way to live wire and then to decide you want to go punch people in the face for fun and get paid for it? <laughs> um, yeah, so it started a couple of years ago. I was just looking for something to keep me busy, something to get me exercising. And I took a kickboxing class with my aunt. And I started at Livewire because my brother had done some jujitsu there before. And so I started there and just fell in love. And it went from going like three days a week to two months later, I was going every single day. <laughs> and then where, where did you reach the point of like, hey, I might want to do this? Were you at a fight? Did someone say it? Or were you like, hey, I want to do this? Like in terms of getting in the cage to punch another girl in the face. Yeah. So Matt had brought it up. Um, I was just training. And then uh, he had said something about oh, we'll train you to get into the cage. And that was the first time I had really thought about it. And then I started training harder and um, kind of meditated on that idea and realized that's something I wanted to do. And um, there's a uh, quote from Fight Club where he's like, how much can you really know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? And suddenly that had spoke to me and I was like, I have to do this. Yeah. And then when you get in the fight, you realize, oh, how much do you really know about yourself getting in a fight? <laughs> it really is one of those things. Like you hear it and you're like, okay. And then when you do it, it's like, oh, hey, that's a real thing. Yeah. Have you ever been in the cage? Yeah. I used to train and and then decided, like I did that, decided Jesus was more fun. So I did uh, a bunch of Jesus competitions and stuff like that. But it really is what you said. It's how much do you know about yourself till you get punched in the face and not, <laughs> you know, there's difference when you and Derek are sparring and you get caught or he gets caught. We're friends, but when I don't know you and maybe I don't like you and I get punched in the face, there's different, there's different mentalities you got to switch to there. Yeah, no, the intentions are totally different. And uh, you respect the person you get into the cage with because they also chose to get in there. But I mean, after my first fight, like there was no feeling like that. I've never felt something like that. My pupils were huge. It looks like I had just taken a bunch of drugs after my fight. <laughs> and so I was like, I, I immediately I knew I wanted to do it again. So uh, when I was talking to Derek yesterday, he was outside the gym, getting ready to go into the gym. And I had brought you up because you were on the fight card. And he told me, he was telling me like how strong you are and how fun it is. And like, you guys go at each other. So walk me through the life of a fighter. 
when you wake up, you get to the gym, you're sparring, like how does it just all go right? I guess we're a little bit out from the peak of camp, but we're almost there. So what's, what's it like the day in the life for you? Well, uh, in the morning, I usually go do weights. I work eight hours and then I'll go if I can, I do wrestling twice a week. And then after that, kickboxing and jujitsu and three times a week I spar, um, once it's with women only. And so sparring, I mean, I lately I've just been doing as many rounds in a row as I can before I need a break and just um, because so much of fighting is like mentally pushing through what you think you can't do. And that includes like cardio. And so when you think you want to rest, forcing yourself to do another and there's no motivation, like not getting hit in the face. So yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, Derek and Andy are both great sparring partners too. I mean, Derek will, I, I get rocked by Derek a couple of times and obviously his wrestling is good. And so, um, yeah, no, he's a great sparring partner. When, uh, and don't give away a game plan, anything like that, but how, if the end of the night, when your hand's raised, how would you like your hand to have gotten raised? I want to finish. I don't want to go to decision again. Nice. I love that. I love that. Uh, okay. I'm going to ask you some quick questions and just first thought that comes to mind. What is, what was your favorite movie when you were little? You're at aunt's house, grandma's house, mom's house, like whatever, but like you had to be watching this on repeat. Probably Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, nice. Very nice. Uh, when you're in the heat of fight camp, let's say like a week from now, and you're going to get that cheat meal that you've been working all week for, what's your go-to cheat meal? Chipotle. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that was quick too you didn't even hesitate chipotle <laughs> what do you get at chipotle uh white rice black beans chicken corn cheese it's awesome chipotle uh if you could compare yourself to one fighter that's out there right now who would it be i mean i'd hope to be like rose nama yunez oh that is a great call she's a beast mm -hmm. that's a great call uh oh but before we got there i was going to ask you did you watch UFC MMA like before doing all this or were you at the gym and then got brought into it? No, the first fight I watched was live. Uh, one of my training partners. Really? And have you gone back since and watched UFC stuff? Who do you like watching now? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So my boyfriend and I will uh, um, watch UFC fights and I try to watch high level fighting to emulate it. Of course. Who, uh, who's your favorite, obviously other than Rose, who do you like watching? Like if, if they're fighting, you have to watch or at least cast highlights or something like that. Uh, for a while, I was really into Ronda Rousey. I read her book. I watched all of you know her videos. I just thought I just really liked her story. She brought women to the cage and, oh, and UFC, so I really like her. Nice. Uh, all right. Well, I will be up there at weigh-ins, and I will come find you, and we'll meet and talk then. Great. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks. I'll Bye. see you up there. Once again, the show is presented by Combat Games MMA.